Hey everybody, welcome back to Glee Glow Junction. This is the place to be if you're looking for a little pick-me-up for your mood. Life throws us curveballs, but there are little things we can do to feel better, day by day. So if you're ready to ditch the blues and embrace the sunshine, keep those peepers glued right here. Let's get happy. You know that feeling when you wake up and realize it's Saturday, the sun is shining and you have a whole day of fun planned? That's the feeling we're going for. Try keeping a gratitude journal. Every day, jot down a few things you're thankful for. It could be anything, a delicious cup of coffee, a funny text from a friend, or even just the fact that you have access to clean drinking water. You'll be surprised how quickly this simple practice can shift your focus from negative to positive. Let's talk about the great outdoors. Nature's got a direct line to that Saturday morning, sunshine and rainbows feeling. Spending time outside, even if it's just for a few minutes, can do wonders for your mood. Take a walk in the park, sit under a tree, feel the grass between your toes, breathing in the fresh air, soaking up some vitamin D and listening to the birds chirping. It's like hitting the reset button on your mind and body. Exercise isn't just about getting ripped abs or fitting into those skinny jeans. It's about releasing endorphins, those magical little chemicals in your brain that make you feel good. Think of it like this. Every time you exercise, you're throwing a party for your brain. So crank up your favorite tunes, get moving, and let those endorphins work their magic. You don't have to run a marathon. Even a little dance party in your living room will do the trick. We all crave routine, even if we don't realize it. Routine provides structure, stability, and a sense of control, all of which can be especially helpful when you're feeling blue. Start by establishing a simple morning routine. Wake up, make your bed, have a healthy breakfast, and maybe do a little meditation or journaling. Having a set routine can help you feel more grounded and prepared to face the day. Think of it like this. A routine is like a roadmap for your day. It helps you stay on track and avoid unnecessary stress. You know those friends who always make you laugh even when you're feeling down? Those friends are precious. Hold on to them tight. When you're feeling down, sometimes the best medicine is a good old-fashioned chat with a friend. Talking about your feelings can help you process them, gain perspective, and feel supported. It's like having a personal cheer squad cheering you on from the sidelines of your life. Let's talk about social media for a sec. Social media can be a real downer sometimes, scrolling through endless feeds of perfect lives, perfect bodies, perfect vacations. It's enough to make anyone feel inadequate. But here's the thing, social media is just a highlight reel, it's not real life. People only post the good stuff, the filtered, edited, perfectly curated versions of themselves. So next time you're feeling down about your life, take a break from social media and go do something that makes you happy. Mindfulness, your brain's chill pill. Mindfulness is all about being present in this very moment without judgment. It's about noticing your thoughts and feelings without getting swept away by them. Think of it like this. Your mind is like a busy city street with thoughts and feelings constantly whizzing by. Mindfulness is like finding a quiet park bench in the middle of all the chaos. You know that feeling when you wake up after a good night's sleep, feeling refreshed, recharged, and ready to take on the world? That's the power of sleep. When you don't get enough sleep, your body produces more of the stress hormone cortisol, which can make you feel anxious, irritable, and down in the dumps. So make sleep a priority. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night. You know that saying, you are what you eat. Well, it's true. The food you put into your body can have a big impact on your mood. Eating a healthy, balanced diet can provide your brain with the nutrients it needs to function at its best. Think of it like this. Your brain is like a car and food is like fuel. If you fill your car with premium fuel, it's going to run smoothly and efficiently. There's no shame in asking for help, friends. We all need a little extra support sometimes, especially when it comes to our mental health. If you're struggling with sadness, anxiety, or any other mental health issue, please know that you're not alone. Seeking professional help is a sign of strength, not weakness. It means you're taking control of your mental health and making it a priority. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. 
We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.